Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work in GIMP, and I want to add some text to an image. So I'm going to open an image up, any image will do. And this one's called Poodle Rock, as you can see where it gets its name from. And using the text tool, over here on your toolbox, you have the text tool, and when you click on that, it reveals down below the font uh, type you want. You can pick whatever font you want there and font size, uh, if you want it in pixels or um, inches or millimeters, if you want um, what color you want, as well as what kind of justification you're looking for, whether it be centered, left justified, right justified, and so on. So let's just, uh, when you click on your text tool, then you can take your mouse over to your image and just draw your little text box there, wherever you kind of want it to land. And what happens is the GIMP text editor dialog box pops up down here. So this is the box you're actually going to type your, your text into. And so let's just say, welcome to Poodle Rock! Exclamation point. Now you may notice mine's already centered and all that, and it's a certain font and certain size. And if I want to change that, I'm just going to highlight that and go back over here and say, well, you know, let's make it um, size 36. Maybe we want it smaller. Um, Tahoma. Maybe we want something else. Let's do like an aerial. And, or some other kind of font. There's aerial bold. And maybe I just want to separate it a bit, welcome to, and then do a shift enter on your GIMP text editor to push the poodle rock down to the next line. And, uh, like a, or if you want to make it bigger, just go up to size and make it, um, you know, 48 is fine, 60, whatever works there for you. There we go. I forgot to highlight it. So you got to highlight it to then make your changes. Uh, for color, um, we have obviously all kinds of colors in here, but uh, you can just pick whatever color you think might might look good on there. Um, you can go with a darker blue than what's already there is fine. I've got it, or there's a purple there, I believe. So you can uh, make those changes, adjust as you need to. And if you need to move it, uh, you can just grab it and move it like that. You don't actually have to ask for the move tool to make that happen. Okay, And just close out your dialog box when you're happy with it. And then, you're not quite done yet, you've got to merge the, vis the visible layers here, because if you look at your layers dialog box, you've got the text box, and you've also got the background. So you need to merge these two layers to make it one complete image, which also gets rid of these little lines going all the way around it. So what you want to do is go up to Image, and uh, toward the bottom you have Merge Visible Layers, which is also Control-M, and click on that and just uh, hit merge button and that will pretty much uh, take care of that for you okay so um, save that and you're done thank you